What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? Many men have anxiety and slash or depression but we will not talk about and will get moderately annoyed at you for bringing it up. Holy shit this got gold. Thank you kind stranger. I remember when I thought this was a successful post when it had only like 30 upvotes. A lot of women don't understand that it takes us a lot longer to figure out how we feel about something than most women. Give us time to process, and we'll bring it up if and when we want to talk about it. But, don't try to push us to be emotional, since most men aren't as driven by feelings as most women. Sometimes we don't talk to people cause we don't want to intimidate them. I might see a girl with a cool shirt on but I don't want to make her think I'm coming on to her or something. Rather than freak her out that a 6'6 guy thinks she looks good today, I just leave her alone. Especially if we're on an elevator or something where she can't leave if she actually is uncomfortable. If a guy told me that on my way out of the elevator and explained why he didn't say it while we were still in, I'd definitely think that's adorable. May even want to see him again. You have no idea how much women appreciate it when men understand how complicated and unsafe the world feels for women a lot of the time. Sex isn't all we want in a relationship. I'd rather be with someone who understands me but only does it once in a while than someone who I have sex with every day but don't connect with emotionally and mentally. Some of us are into things like cooking, cleaning, makeup, fashion, etc. It doesn't necessarily mean we're gay. Please don't tell us to man up. A lot of us were constantly told that growing up whenever we tried to express ourselves so you saying it will often bring up bad memories. Men can be abused. Men can be raped. Men also tend to be more suicidal because society tells us we're weak if we try to discuss these things. No, we don't enjoy being raped by a hot girl and we often don't talk about it because people will often straight up tell us we're lying about it if we do. If we haven't carried in all the shopping in one go, we haven't done it right. It if other guys feel this too, but I'm always afraid of accidentally making women feel uncomfortable in my presence, for example when I happen to walk in the same direction as a woman in front of me for a while. And I'm not even interested in women in the first place. This is me all the time. I'm brown, not small, and I live in a big city where women are on high alert all the time. So I go out of my way to slow down, or speed up, when walking in proximity to a woman and we're both alone. My wife, mother, and sister have made me aware of my male privilege, and it's all I can think about sometimes that I might be making someone scared just by being there. I'm not afraid of repercussions for myself. I just never want to make people feel that way. I realized my smiling only helps sometimes, and speaking to them without being spoken to first is jarring sometimes. And it's not all women, but it's clear that most women will never, ever feel comfortable in the presence of a man they don't know on the street. No exceptions. I'm sorry that the world is shitty, and that women are often victims of circumstances they don't control. I'm trying, ladies. And I always with interject when a panhandler gets aggressive or let you know when your bag is hanging open. I don't know the solution for this but I am hyper aware of it, and I hope one day the world is safe for everyone, not just me. My dad served in the Pacific during WW2. A kid from the Bronx, he had never been out of the Bronx in his entire life. Then he got sent to New Guinea. Decades later, as he lay dying in the hospital bed, he told us, as his young friends were being slaughtered by other young men, just before they died, they always cried for their mothers, never for their fathers, always for their mothers. He said, they were just kids, just kids being slaughtered by other kids. And then they died, in his arms. Their last words were always, where is my mother? Where is my mother? Where is my mother? Never for their fathers. That affected him for his entire life. And dad lived a long time. He was the lucky one. I'm a woman. In college I complimented this random guy in line for coffee that he smelled really nice. It wasn't a pickup line or anything I just enjoyed complimenting people. About a year later we ended up having a class together and I didn't recognize him at all. 
He came up to me and thanked me again for the compliment I gave him a year ago and said he hasn't forgotten about how nice that was for a stranger to be so upfront and to compliment him. We'll be married seven years in June. Edit, thank you for my first medal. I love sharing this story. After a shower, we have no problem drying our balls and face with the same towel. Most of the time we try to dry the face first, then the sack. But sometimes we have to go back to the face. We just hope we use an uncontaminated part of the towel. Edit, uncontaminated. My balls are clean after a shower. Just, you know. Wiping the balls then wiping my face is just kind of, yet. As an older man, we don't expect you to look like a supermodel as we age together. Yes, at times I do see you as I did 30 years ago and every wrinkle and flaw disappears. Yes, there are times I see every wrinkle and flaw, and know how you got every one of them. They are beautiful too. Thank you.